All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That took way too long. Let's get to it. What's happening? I'm Digit Mason, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Super Mario Odyssey. I think we have uh, our technical issues out of the way for today. <clears throat> Always a great time for that. Welcome Lambda Bridge to the stream. Hope you're having a fantastic time. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna jump right into this thing. Starting back off with where we were at last time. Where am I going? Here we go. All right. Fantastic. Let's Odyssey. I agree. <laughs> It took us too long to get here, but uh, this is what we're doing. All right. So yeah, we're just finishing off. We're doing this again, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Because I guess it only actually saves once you actually get to the next kingdom. Actually. <laughs> but yeah, we are uh, headed off to the Metro Kingdom. We have enough power to get there, so let's go! We're flying off over the world and into another journey, another destination in Super Mario Odyssey. Very curious, looking out, checking out the, the world at large. Stolen dress from a wedding, yeah. Wall jump. I do know how to wall jump. Thank you. Oh boy. What's happening? What's happening? Bowser? I mean, it's not really a surprise. We were kind of headed that way anyway. Just didn't expect to come this close. He's got all the stuff on his ship. I guess we're gonna try and ambush him or something. That's probably not gonna happen. Cloud Kingdom. Yeah, so we're making a quick stop off here. Uh, we need to battle him before we head off to Metro Kingdom, for whatever reason. I think this is the... kind of the first time we've actually faced off against Bowser himself. Usually we've been, uh... <laughs> Usually we've been just fighting his lackeys, so... you know. I don't have time for you, I'm busy planning my wedding! It can be a stressful time. I mean, I don't legitimately think you're going to get married here, so... Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Poor Peach, once again, in the wings. He's got a punch hat! Alright. Let's do this, you big lug. You big lug, you! So we can wear the hat, even though it's quite large, and then use it against him. Isn't that typically what every video game villain does wrong? They're like, hey, have this thing that's going to attack you, but also somehow it will get back at me. That's just improper planning. Yeah. 
Number two. I believe we need one more hit and then we can uh, take him out. Yeah, so angry. I've just ruined all of your plans, haven't I? There we go. And he's done. At least for now. As typical. Typically happens. So that's Cloud Kingdom. And that's the Bowser boss. Glad to be done with that. Fire! Just remembered, I should probably tweet out the stream. That would be a good idea. Mario! No! What has happened? So let's be honest here. Dapper Ship. Dapper Bowser. Like, he really has the digs. How is fire hitting the clouds? I don't know. I don't know. And not just completely burning everything up. This is a very weird place to be. We've crash landed. Odyssey is all busted up. Yeah, so there's actually two kingdoms in between Lake and when we finally get to Metro. We will get to Metro today for sure. There's not a whole lot that we need to do specifically here in this in the Lost Kingdom. But uh, there is a couple things. A couple moons we'll have to grab. Um, yes, so the one thing right now that we're wanting to avoid is that guy. The uh, Klepto. The Vulture. He wants to steal Cappy away from us and make things more inconvenient than they really need to be. So, we're just gonna be like, nope, we're skipping you today. I have not actually done this uh, ever. Actually, I think it's this tree. So, yep, there's a, there's a death. There's a death for ya. Um... This is one of those many speedrunning tricks out there that uh, essentially lets you kind of skip over the whole klepto section. Because he'll take your hat and then you have to like go back and forth and do some stuff. Now that I'm here actually, I'll just grab these regional coins here. We've got a moon way out there that I don't think we can get just yet. Can we make it? Yes! <laughs> First try. Well, I mean, there was a death in there, but, you know. Wasn't the worst thing. So we're just gonna skip past those beetle guys. They, they also are very interested in stealing Cappy. We're not gonna let that happen. Okay, yeah, I don't have a don't have a whole lot of plan for how I'm attacking this space specifically But um, We take a look so it's kind of a bunch of disparate islands all over the place surrounded by a sea of death. Yep um, We've got some tropical wigglers that we'll be meeting a little bit later uh, Klepto which we're ideally just not going to see it all. We're just gonna wall jump all the way up here. Relatively quickly. 
We're already at Crazy Cap. This is the, the highest point of the entire island. And we're here in a couple minutes flat. That's all you need. So we're going to grab some stuff. Um, we don't have a whole lot of regional coins right now, so I'm mostly just going to be buying this guy. The one moon you can buy from every single kingdom. We're going to go that route. And... Uh, We'll have to come back for the rest of it. Although, thankfully, as you can see, we've got this checkpoint here, so we can just warp back up here at any time. We don't have to fool around with it too much. Okay, so... Yeah, we've got uh, lots of stuff to explore. Now, if I remember, I have to take a specific... I kind of want to skip over the whole klepto thing, so I'm pretty sure I can do that like this. Is he just gonna move? If I just get him to land, can I just take him out? Ha ha ha! Ah, yeah. So, we'll be seeing him again later on in the run. Whoa! Let's not die. Um, but believe me when I say Klepto is just really, really annoying. He's just a huge nuisance because when he takes Cappy away, that kind of just essentially limits a whole bunch of the things that you're able to do. Um, a lot of the jumps that you would accomplish. Why is he still there? We already took him out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take you out again. That's what I'm going to do. I don't really want to deal with you. There we go. Got that one jump there. Now, obviously, um, that, is a, that is a skip. So, like, you're not actually meant to get to this point without having um, kind of gone through all of that with Klepto. It's like it's kind of a little trail you have to take around this area in order to actually get rid of him for good. But as you can see, we just did it in a much easier way. Yes, thank you, Cappy. I'm able to count. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, <laughs> jumping into this whole thing here, I'm very much feeling disorganized because uh, this is not one of those kingdoms that I've been to a whole ton. You don't actually visit it, like, I think in the end, once we have kind of completed this entire game, you really only have to go into this kingdom maybe once or twice. Maybe three times. So, yeah, there you can see what these trap eatles do. They'll grab, try to steal Cappy, and then they'll launch after you, but as you can see, that doesn't really work out for them. Um, yeah, so let's just keep on going here. Grab those coins. Grab that guy. Funny thing is, is because we did that skip with Klepto, um, normally the music for this kingdom would have already triggered. Uh, <laughs> well, that has not happened yet. Right now we're just listening to some lovely silence. And I have no idea how we actually get that to trigger, to be honest with you. We'll figure that out. We will get to hear the lovely music of this area. I'm hoping Klepto isn't going to be back. Is he still around? He is! What the heck? 
The game does not want you to do this. I would really rather you play it in the order that you're supposed to. <laughs> That's fine. You know what? We can deal with that. We will just not die, and then it'll be fine. Oh, that was the wrong direction. I was supposed to supposed to be aiming for that cage there. Duck. Yeah. Whoa, let's not die. Uh, how do I get back up there in a timely fashion? I think I can do some nice little movement over here. Because we've got another... Yeah, we've got a handy little tree right here. Then we can hop right back up. Awesome. So yeah, I believe there's... Yeah, there's ten... Uh, in terms of the story moons that you're required to get... That's a death. Uh, yeah, you only need to get ten. But uh, we will be grabbing twice that with uh, everything that is technically available to you, to us, from the start. You know, I'm really tired of getting rid of you. I should just stop dying. That's really what I should do. Matt, welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, this, this game has just the classic... Nintendo magic. Clever little things everywhere you look. It's just... I mean, this is like, I believe my fourth full time through the game. And uh, I'm still, like, even now, I'm still discovering all kinds of fun little things that I didn't notice before. Which is the best. It's such a uh, deep and rich game. There's so much to see and do. And that's uh, part of why I decided I wanted to go through it again. I wanted to do another 100% completion of it. Because I just... I'm still at the point where I am hardly tired of this game at all. There's very little about it that I uh, would complain about, honestly. I just... I just love it. I think that's uh, kind of a good indication of a game for me, is if I can, like, actually get through the whole game, still come back, and still enjoy it as much as I do. Grab some of those gear. This is a very dangerous place to be, if I'm honest. <laughs> We've got lots of death traps. Uh, okay, let's get organized. We got some more moons to grab. Yes, I agree, Matt. I hope you're enjoying the stream and enjoying your Thursday. Uh... Okay, so th this is always a weird angle here. Oh yeah, it's on the first one. So... What they want you to do here is to grab one of those um, tropical wigglers so you can capture those guys and then stretch out into like any direction you want. I will be doing that, but I really prefer to just not do that. <laughs> prefer to do it the difficult way where I have to repeatedly die and then repeatedly take out Klepto here and... really doesn't like you. That's fine. I don't like him either. <laughs> okay. So... I really just want to get that moon so I can move on. Yeah! And now the challenge. Can I get out of here? I can! Yes! <laughs> Death-defying... So yeah, as uh, Cappy is so kind to point out to us, we could technically stop here uh, and move on to the next kingdom. 
But because I'm doing this um, specifically for a quick run purpose, um, kind of means that I would really prefer to take care of as much as I can while I'm here. So, like, anything that is available to me at this moment, I'm going to try and uh, grab before I leave. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna hop around as this guy. Stretch out. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, we've got a few more. Yes, thank you, Cappy. I'm good. I don't need to do that right now. I will finish this section, and then we'll talk about heading out. Okay. So we need to grab these guys. Ah, I thought I could do it. I thought I could get all the way up there in one fell swoop. Let's not die again. Just, just avoiding death today. It's like, it's all we do. <laughs> I just want to point out again how uh, fantastic it is that even when you're in your 8-bit form, if you're wearing a full, complete outfit set, then uh, that outfit will follow with you as you're as you're going through that section. So it really does make a bit of a difference what outfit you choose for Mario, both um, clothing and uh, and hat. Even though, in terms of how it actually works, it's it's mostly cosmetic. There isn't actually any like gameplay element of it that is made significantly different. Ah, man. But yeah. It's just cool. It's just cool that you can choose what you look like. That's really all I'm trying to say. That's what really all I'm getting at. You want to avoid those fuzzies, for sure. Yeah, that's true, Matt. It's uh, it's a it's a very unique mechanic in that it allows you to do very different things than you normally could as Mario. It is a lot like Kirby, though, except you know, instead of theoretically swallowing them, <laughs> you know, you just take over their mind. Are you kidding? I hit the trigger again. Oh, man. And now, I think even if I was to die, I still wouldn't have Cappy. So, I can't capture anything. I can't do cap jumps. Yeah, I'm very severely limited at this point. Not a whole lot that I can actually accomplish just as Mario, surprisingly. I mean, I can easily get up here, but that's not the thing. There we go. Okay, please get out of here, and please go back there. There we go. So we did the skip a bunch of times, and it made literally no difference. We'll just have to actually play it as intended. Whatever! <laughs> Thanks for the rescue. That was unpleasant. That was unpleasant. I don't really care how it was for you, Cappy, but for me, very unpleasant. <laughs> and now we get the level music, finally. All this time we've been missing out. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, thankfully, that's kind of a trigger, so we know now that... Uh, Klepto definitely will not be coming back. Which is good. We don't want him anyway. 
Um, okay, so I just realized there is... Let's be this guy. There's a little uh, moon piece? Moon piece? Moon segment? Moon chip? I don't know what they call it. But yeah, you can collect these little parts over here. Whoa. Yeah, this is definitely very colorful and very cool little ability that's in this game. I love it. I believe the last one is right behind this tree. If we can reach it. Yes, it's right there. Bada boom! We're just on the precipice there, about to die. Okay. Now I could technically do this without the Wiggler guy, but there's some part of it that's just a little bit more certain because you can very easily grab onto the little platforms as you're proceeding. Okay, so I don't think we need you anymore. Um, what else? Let's just actually warp up to the top here. Because it's the highest point of the whole island, it's very easy to um, kind of branch off from where you are and uh, grab everything else that you theoretically would be able to. So I remember seeing there's a big tree way out there. Let's not do that. <laughs> Don't really want to dive bomb into this lava or whatever it is. I think I may have screwed that up for myself. Just realizing. We're going to go back and try it again. Because we actually do want to land on the top. That's really the goal. So we've got a toad here. Didn't expect to see you here. Nothing tops this location. <laughs> it's a pun! Um, okay, so where was I headed? Out this way. So now that I haven't dive-bombed at the last moment, I can actually probably do this properly. No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, depth perception. Every time. Yeah, if this was a speed run, I would have already reset and tried again, because... Yeah, we're, we're gonna be much more chill about it. There we go! Ha! Ha ha! Pat pun! Um, where else? Oh yeah, there's a little secret moon that I do enjoy finding. Um, there's a little section you can kind of see at the bottom there. Um, what they want you to do is be one of those tropical wigglers and like stretch in there. But if I jump down, I die. If I jump down, I die. <laughs> Where was that again? I'm all turned around. And yes, we are at uh, 41 out of the 50 possible coins in this area. I don't exactly remember where all the other ones are, but that is fine. Let's do another death. Yep. To be fair, I've never actually tried this and succeeded. Might take me a couple attempts. Um. Leaps into action. 
Okay. So, we want to line ourselves up right about here. Hoping to be able to wall jump off of the side there. It's probably falling a little bit too quickly. Um, you know what? Let's abandon that for now. Um, so there's a few other... A few other little moons we can collect along the way. Just bonks his head right on the wall. Let's talk to the Takatu. Twist and turn up treasure. Get some rest, Captain Toad. And what's the third one? A butterfly's treasure. I believe there's... Oh, yes. So there is some of these guys in here. No. Let me out! <laughs> oh, man. So, twist and turn up treasure. That one... I'm not remembering exactly. I mean, this is obviously the butterfly see if I can do it. Because if you walk up too close to the butterfly here, it flies away. But if you just sneak attack like that, and you got it. You got a maid. Okay. Um... Soaring over Forgotten Isle. Um, oh, you know what? I actually remember now. John Stevens, welcome to the stream. Everyone want to make John Stevens feel welcome? They're there. Hello. Hope you're having a fantastic time. We are... Going through the Lost Kingdom right now in Super Mario Odyssey. And making some somewhat decent progress. Okay. So yeah, we could technically leave at this point, but... Yes, we are... Uh... Still a couple more that we can grab. So I'm just going to speculate, but I think what happened there with John is... Uh, you must have typed hi there? Or like, there's some kind of glitch? <laughs> then the same message showed up twice. Either way, thank you for checking out the stream. Hope you enjoy. Enjoy your time here. Pick up your feet. Stay a while. Enjoy a snack. <laughs> you know, all the fun things to do while you watch a YouTube video. Um okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just head up again and try out So I got the butterfly one. Um Oh yeah, there's one way out there, so I'm gonna grab that. So there was that key thing that we were just taking a look at. That is for sure one of them. Soaring over Forgotten Isle. And we get launched. The key is definitely one right there. I believe that's the... We just take a look at my list here. Oh yeah, so we actually do have all of them in the list. Um, there is one of them, uh, Moon 13 here, which will not be available until the next time that I visit this kingdom. 
But other than that, yeah, we will be able to collect uh, 20 out of the available 25 in this list. And so the key one over here, where I am right now, is number 17. And then uh, the one I was trying earlier where I kept dying, that's the Captain Toad one. So in order to get this one, either I need to be very, very clever about it, or what they uh, intend you to do is to just grab one of these Tropical Wiggler guys. And we have to do a lot of walking. Not particularly quick, you know. You could speed it up if you wanted to. Dang it! <laughs> I got all the way there and then died. Ah. ah! Okay. So, I'm gonna have to grab that guy again. Or... Lives! Nope. Probably just make it a little less painless for me to get over there. Nope. Not my favorite thing. Getting a lot of coins today, which is good because we will need them at the end of all of this. Yeah, that's, that's better than nothing. At least I landed it. I don't really know how Mario's legs aren't just completely broken at this point. But, okay, so we're gonna be... Yes, we got in! <laughs> Captain Toad. He's always like, how did I get here? I don't know! <laughs> I want to know, Captain Toad. How do you find yourselves in these situations? Like... Uh, and he always has a power moon as well. So thank you very much for that. We got that, and now we just need to do the the one last one there where we... In fact, I could just grab this guy right here. Get some extra coins out of the deal. Head on out. Whoop. Yes, thank you, Lambda. <laughs> it only took me like seven tries. So when, on the whole, if you think about it, <laughs> I did pretty well. We're not talking like speedrunner caliber stuff here, but at least I got it. I knew what I had to do. I died a couple times and we accomplished it. At the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? Get in the moon. And I don't have another thing to add to that sentence. Yep, that's that's about it. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Now that we've done all this walking over here, we just need to kind of reach around here, grab that key. Simple as that. Simple as that. So, yeah, now uh, we're up to... Up to 20 moons in this section. That's all that I'll actually need to collect from here, at least uh, for right now. This being the, the first time that I've been through the kingdom. Um, a couple things that uh, I'm still missing. Notably, there's a couple of uh, secret Luigi coin things that I can collect. Um, and where is the those last three the 
last three uh, purple regional coins. Gotta find those things somewhere. Oh yeah, they're right there. Let's see if I can do this right. Haha! <laughs> we got it! We're in! Okay, so that part of it's done. Just taking a look at my notes. Um... Swamp Hill Checkpoint. Yeah, so John, I'm, I'm going to show you that in, in just a second. Um, there's all over the game, basically, there's these random little locations where if you ground pound, a little 8-bit Luigi will pop out. And if you've never got that, uh, that little piece before, um, he'll grant you 200 coins per. So it's... A neat little secret, especially if you're like me, wanting to 100% the game. Um, and uh, because of that, you'll need quite a lot of coins to be able to progress. Um, so the first one, I believe, is somewhere around in this section. Um... Triangle in. I might be looking around for this for a bit. So it is kind of west over here. Yes, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, he's gonna give me a pile of coins. Then I can spin him for my troubles. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, there's one more. Swamp Hill Checkpoint over here. So there's a coin right there. And if I go so just south of that, right over here, I believe. Yes, there's another one. 200 smackaroons. That's all we need. Okay, so... Before I leave and finally get to Metro Kingdom... Because I have all of the uh, purple regional coins for this area, I can totally buy out their shop, which is exactly what I want to do. I don't think I want to change into that outfit just yet. I don't think I necessarily need to. Um, and, uh, yeah, one of the other cool things about going into Crazy Cap, every single, uh, Crazy Cap location has their own, uh, little souvenirs you can get. So you get a sticker for the Odyssey on the outside there to show you where you've been, and then a bunch of little knickknacks, little collectibles that uh, are inside the Odyssey. So, yeah, that is all for that. I think we're good on that front. I can't actually go in there <laughs> because it still needs to be fixed. So that's what I will do. I'll give it twice the amount of moons it actually needs to get repaired. Apparently moons is all you need and then it just fixes it. I wish more things were like that. <laughs> you just like fix your car or something. Just like put in some some of the right gas or whatever. So yeah, now we can now we can leave the leave the kingdom here. Once we've gathered everything that we need from it. We're up to 194 moons. At the end of this there will be 999. Now there's only I believe just over 800 moons that you can get just regularly. And yeah, you can see all of these little knickknacks and stuff inside the Odyssey. Um, all from the different kingdoms that we've visited so far. On our way to the Metro Kingdom, finally! Where we actually wanted to go! <laughs> but now it's turn to night.
New Donk City and the Metro Kingdom. The Scourge on the Skyscraper. So this is definitely... Uh, things don't look good, though. Bowser's ship, of course. That's what we've been chasing this entire time. Now you'll notice, we already have one moon. And that was one that I collected a little bit earlier. Um, I believe from the painting in Sand Kingdom, if I recall correctly. So that's one of those secret little moons um, that was over here. Um, it's that island that you can't really access unless you've been there a through a different way. So, uh, yeah, there's lots more to tackle here. I'm just going to take a quick break, grab a snack, and we'll be back for the Metro Kingdom. See you in a bit. All right, and we're back. 
want to welcome Brandon to the stream. Everyone make Brandon feel welcome. As my webcam is frozen up. John, yeah, it is, it's a very exciting time. What has happened here? You're doing so good! Okay. Give me like two seconds. I'm gonna get this thing fixed. All right, so <laughs> I don't know what's happening. We're just gonna, we're just gonna wait. Something, something is happening with my webcam. So we're just gonna not do that for right now. We're gonna wait for that to work. It's a very rainy day right now. Rainy night, I should say. Strange city as well, napping on the asphalt. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of my favorite things. Is Mario? Uh, it's just hanging out, having some fun. Me heading to the city? Forget about it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Just sleeping on the pavement. Looks kind of cold. If I'm if I'm being honest. So this is Mayor Pauline. Don't really have time to chat right now. Need to figure out a way oh. to save my city. Oh. Has the nerve to be advertising this wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no yowk accent. Yep. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're going to we're going to head down there. This is not a very friendly place to be right now. Nasty looking bugs everywhere.
Lots of little larvae and everything. They like to come out and play. Oh boy. So you're kind of restricted in this area of where you can actually go. It'll open up quite a lot. Uh, once we actually save the city. I'm hiding in here till it's over. <laughs> New swag. Alright. What do you guys think? Should I change? Should I change into the, uh, the suit? Or should I stick with... Stick with the fashionable wear for now. I don't know. I would definitely look a lot more classy. Yeah, Brandon, this is this is one of the coolest kingdoms ever. And it gets even better in the day. Let me just go check over here. There's probably nothing I can actually buy. I could buy the little helmet. I think I'm going to wait. Wait until I have everything that I need. So there's more of these little Sherm tanks out and about, which I could technically take control of, but eh, don't really need to at this point. It's Fedoa time, baby. That's a, what accent is that? <laughs> Okay. By popular demand, and by popular demand, I mean Brandon said fedora time. We're gonna change. Why not? That way, at least blend in a little bit more with with the locals. Yes, John, I agree. Beating the game. This is. This is a wonderful game to explore all the way through. Look at this! Class! Yeah! <laughs> I don't imagine it would be all that much more fun to be, you know, running around in the rain in like a full suit. Probably not. There is one specific thing that I'm remembering now that would help to have the tank for, and that's shooting out those little things there. Don't know that I want to take it all the way after that. Oh, let's not fall to our deaths. As much as we might uh, tend to do that quite a bit. <laughs> Construction site. Oop. Do I actually need to be these guys? <laughs> yes. Give me some pictures, Spider-Man. Ah, uh, yeah. It's it's so perfect. Uh, that seems to be all the guys that I can actually collect. Now, that would be the best if, like, suddenly this transitioned into, like, a Spider-Man game in, you know, New Donk City. Probably one of the better places to... I mean, it's not that big, to be honest. It'd definitely be a lot of fun to web around in. Iron Girder. All right, I'm just gonna hang on here for two seconds, and we're gonna see if I can get my webcam back. This is ridiculous. Nope, that's not working. All right. Maybe we'll just have to go without it. The greatest crossover. 
of our generation. You're not wrong. All right. So yeah, we've got a little bit more, a little bit further to go here. I really hate those flies. I'll be honest. I mean, I'm sure that was kind of the, the point. But like, they are just the ugliest and most annoying little enemy of this entire game. All right, so. We're gonna keep progressing up a little bit higher. I don't think we actually need to capture those those uh, Goombas for any reason. Oh, and I'm just realizing now, I actually, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to get up there before, but Pauline could be Wonder Woman. You're right. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there, to be honest. Or maybe, Can I get around? There's a lot of these guys in here. All right. I think I can just knock this thing down and then I can get across. So who do you think, if we're talking Avengers here now, who do you think Mario would be? Because <laughs> he's kind of like, you know, the short little guy. Whether he's Marvel, whether he's DC, I, I don't really care. Because clearly we've just combined the two. Because why not? Wall jumping up here. Come on. <laughs> Bowser in spandex. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now we're up. <laughs> Attention audience, Pixar has entered the chat. Say hello to my little friend. Can I even make that jump? Ah, oh, there's no way. No, okay. I'm liking this. So we got Wonder Woman. Pauline is Wonder Woman. We've got Bowser as Mr. Incredible. Pauline, I already said that. Who else do we need? We're putting together this team. We need our heavy hitters. I feel like Wario could be like the thing or like Hulk or something. There's a lot to do, and I feel like I'll probably have a easier time of it in the day. It's Harv Dog. Look at that. Welcome to the stream. Everyone, if you want to say hello to Harv Dog. Yeah, DK is probably Hulk, I want to say. He's a little he's a little bigger, definitely. I guess I was just thinking Wario could be like just because he's a little bit bigger. But I mean, clearly Don like in universe, I'm reasonably sure that Donkey Kong is much larger than than Wario. 
for sure. If, like, Mario Party rules are to be believed. Thanks for checking out the stream. It's Harv Dog. It's a good day. It's a good day to be playing some Super Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch system. <laughs> now, if only my webcam would work. It's all right. As long as you don't mind looking at a little uh, gray square for the time being. I should be able to get that up in a little bit. We'll see. Baby, <laughs> Baby Luigi would be Baby Yoda. Yes. Like, I, I'm pretty sure at this point, this is literally just a crossover that has franchises in it that just no reason. No reason to be there. But they're there, right? Because <laughs> they have to be. You can't not. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> uh. Okay, where am I going with this? So there's that one, and, uh... Let's not die right there. That's a bit of a bigger jump. Okay, so we're up. Um, the camera's really weird here. I'm just gonna keep progressing. Cause there's lots more to do here and I feel like, I don't know. I had a, uh, because of how big this kingdom is, I don't know for sure if I'll be able to do all of it today, but I mean, now that we've started here, we can definitely take a look, check it out. Good question, Lambda. So who is Yoshi? Bunny dudes can be the Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, Yo Yoshi, Yoshi could definitely be Spider-Man. I could see that. If you, uh... Once we get a little bit further in this game, we will meet Yoshi, and like, he, uh, his tongue can basically, like, just go up everything. Like, if we're going for the most ambitious crossover of all time, you gotta go big or go home, right? <laughs> like, it's all about how ridiculous can we make this? Like, we're gonna bring in, like, the Teletubbies or something. Like, this is... We want a crossover? Let's do a crossover, you know? <laughs> I was falling for a good reason, but now I forgot what that reason is. Uh, there's probably nothing. Giant fuzzy horse dinos in the Star Wars world. Fuzzy horse dinos? Oh man. Are those like the, the things on Hoth? Am I thinking? Yeah, Tauntauns, there you go. I, be I believe Brandon got it. I could be wrong. I'm really not uh, the most. Not the most. Uh, Familiar with Star Wars specifically. Yeah, it's our dog. 2020 is uh, a rough time for some reason. <laughs> it's kind of like you keep asking, "Okay, what? What's? What's next? What's going to be the thing that's coming after all this?" All right, I'm gonna skip that here. So this is the 
the Mecha Wiggler. I, this is probably one of the bosses that I don't enjoy fighting, just because you have to use motion controls in order to pilot this tank guy. Oh, whoa! Okay. But thankfully, once you beat Mecha Wiggler, uh, then pretty much you go back to kind of day Metro, I believe. It'll get better. If you're not a fan of Night Metro. Oh yeah, good point, Lambda. I wasn't even thinking of who Emmett is. I don't know why. I don't know why that confused me for a second there, but dang it, I do not do not enjoy this one. I would love to see a Lego guy being alongside the Avengers, like kind of like an Ant-Man situation. Where it's like, dude, why is this small little dude here? What? Is he, is, he, is he here for a reason? Come on, buddy! That whole baby nut thing, I do not understand. <laughs> what was the point of that? Luigi's my dad? <laughs> Is that really what you want, Brandon? Is that really what you want? I feel like... Luigi... just being like... a scaredy pants about everything? Probably not the, the, the best dad material. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Fresh start for the city, so yeah, we're uh, we're in the day now. That's all I want. And I guess in theory, you'd also want. Uh, I guess Luigi comes with the mansion. Then I'm thinking. Okay. Just give me one moment here. I'm uh, gonna get my webcam going. I'm hoping anyway. The mansion and the ghosts. <laughs> Professor Egad is my mom. <laughs> Bring the whole family, why not? Boom! <laughs> We're back! Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, the answer to what's wrong with you, Brandon, is a surprisingly nuanced <laughs> good conversation. Uh, I mean, hey, you want Professor Egad and Luigi to be your parents, you do you. <laughs> Professor Egad, I believe, is also in Luigi's Mansion. He's like the guy that makes machines or something. Alright, so this is where so we have a way back to uh way back to Lake Kingdom here. It's digit face <laughs> It is. YouTube doesn't allow enough characters in chat for me to tell you what's wrong with me. <laughs> uh, yep. 
There is a limit for some reason. You can't just type out like entire paragraphs. All right, so. I believe there's a moon right here. Oh no, that's just... That's just coins. Hi, <laughs> in Colorado. <laughs> Say hi to the mountains for me. <laughs> uh... All right, so this is what all the trailers were showing. This is, I think this is essentially Mario Odyssey right here. Just, just take it all in. Yes. Mom always said, go play outside. <laughs> I think the phrase my mother said that life is quite a lot like a box of chocolates. Don't eat the cherry ones. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, can we actually get up there in a easy fashion? I feel like we can. Just have to do a little bit of walking. Tarv Dog, yeah, the, um, I think a lot of people were really hoping for DLC for this game, and so far, like, you know, we're like three years on at this point, and still nothing from Nintendo, so I mean, a lot like other things with like all kinds of video game rumors and stuff, like, I don't want to hold out hope for something that I don't think will actually happen. But at the same time, let's be honest, if there was like some extra levels, some extra stuff from other from other games, like I know some people were like, there was like Sunshine DLC for this game, that would be great. And they kind of just put like an outfit from, uh, from Super Mario Sunshine into this game, sort of. I think it's like a resort outfit. Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of stuff that, like, it would be fantastic if they'd add to this game. But I get the feeling that, like, for whatever reason, Nintendo just has zero interest in doing that. Which is really sad. So, I mean, this game coming out when it did, and uh, all the stuff that you get to do in it is just, like, so much fun all over the place. It really gets you thinking, like, why they would, you know put together this amazing game and then just kind of go nowhere else with it. You know, they, they did some updates here and there, little stuff, but never quite to the same level. Okay, where am I going here? Oh yeah, there's a... Uh... I want to get this seed into one of the planters and I don't remember... Not want to do that. Okay, so we threw it way up there. Did I just throw it away? Where did it go? Oh no. That's not what I wanted to do. But I survived, somehow. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, so I did throw it off the map. That's okay. That's all right. I believe the planter is somewhere up there, actually. I 
I can't for the life of me remember how you're supposed to actually get all the way up there. Uh, it might actually be that way. Okay, so that that gets me a little bit in the ballpark. As long as it doesn't disappear. Extreme Gardening is back! This time, with jazz. Smooth jazz here. <laughs> Where is the planter? I, ah, I wish I knew... Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Um, I think it might be in and around here somewhere. Man, wish I could recall. It might just be like on top of one of those buildings, too. Oh no, it's right there! I'm overthinking this. Come on, make the wall jump. That was... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, boy. Uh... There we go. So there's the seed. Now that I've wasted all that time. I mean, in some ways, I think... I'm just going to sort of jump around here and there, see what I can actually... Yeah, it's wall jumps with with the seed. Apparently that's possible. I, like, when I think about carrying something like that around that whole way, I'm just like, how on earth? Okay, so we want to get all the way across there. Yeah. Yeah, Mario's probably Spider-Man. Just be just for his movement, like I don't know, it's It's not that like he's the most mobile guy out there, but he's probably just a good candidate just because of like how nimble he actually is. Either that, or I would say, um, possibly Luigi would be Spider-Man. Just because he's a little bit taller, can jump a little bit higher. I don't know. This is a super weird crossover, either way. Did I miss anything over here? Uh, probably not. So there's section there. Uh, what did I miss? Actually, I don't think I missed anything specifically there. Yeah, Spider-Verse. We could we could essentially have multiple Spider-Man. Really? Not that far off. Like essentially Mario and Luigi could be Spider-Man. I can see that happening. And then he could be animated. That is a good point. Okay. So I missed the one single coin there. He could be animated slightly differently, I think, is what you were saying. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know of any rooftops that have, like, grass on the top. I'm sure that happens in, like, really big cities. But none that I've ever been in. Can't get over how incredible Spider-Verse was. Man, that... By far... Uh, one of my favorite animated movies to happen in a long time. Just such a gorgeous thing to look at. Okay, so there's those coins. Um... I just really enjoy, like, how you can just jump kind of around just basically anywhere in this city. Big fan. Big fan. So yeah, there, this is, uh, this is a big kingdom for sure, so I'm definitely going to have to split this one up in terms of how, uh, how much I can do today versus how much I leave for next time. It's Harv Dog. So the one thing I'll say there is that I think it was probably a very different team that was involved with Spider-Verse than with Emoji Movie. I don't know for sure who was all, like, who, who specifically, like, it's, it's released by Sony, but there was likely a different studio or a bunch of different studios that were actually involved in making it. So I have really no idea. I actually even haven't, I haven't even seen the Emoji Movie, so. I don't even really know, but from what I understand, just a bit of a train wreck in terms of <laughs> a movie that nobody was really asking for. Getting lots of coins. It's always good because they're, they're hidden in all kinds of random little spots. It can be really... A lot of time invested in trying to find all this stuff. Alright. Um... Oh yeah, and I think... I think there's more on the top here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that might be somewhere else. Or maybe I already got those. I don't know. So we got more over there. I guess I'm mostly just going on a coin run at this point. Just that I don't have to... do a lot of that later on. Uh, let's warp up top. So, if everyone here has seen Spider-Verse, I guess the one thing I should ask is, do you have a favorite scene or character or, like, moment in the movie? So, I mean, I would definitely say there's so many good little... Like, I, I, I have a hard time even naming one thing that would be my favorite, just because there are... There's so many different things about that movie that I just loved. Okay. 
Oh, there's some more over there. Rooftop concerts are the best. Pity no one can hear me. <laughs> well, that's on you, man. You're, uh, like, on the top of this, like, huge building. I don't know what you were expecting. <laughs> doom doom. Yeah, the art style of that movie. Something else. Just an amazing thing to look at. That's 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 probably the first thing I would think of. It's just like it is a masterpiece by every definition. Okay, so we got those guys. And it's Colin. Welcome to the stream, Colin. Everyone make Colin feel welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic day and enjoy the stream. Evil boss dude looked like the principal from Jacob Tutu. <laughs> yeah. Kingpin did a look did a look look a lot like that guy, didn't he? <laughs> fantastic. Making our way through Metro Kingdom. Kind of just randomly collecting whatever I can find. Yeah, we're kind of <laughs> going over all kinds of stuff. One of those being Spider-Verse. We're also talking about how if characters in this game and also like literally anything else were an Avenger, <laughs> what would who would they be? <laughs> no, let's stay on. Okay, so we got to leap to that pool. And grab the moon. Nope. Depth perception. So, this area has a little lovely music remix of Super Mario World, I believe. Music, action scenes, and Jake Johnson. Nothing better. There's a Luigi coin right over there. Handy little section. Alrighty. Oh, there's some more coins that I'm missing. Let's grab them. didn't really want to capture that guy. Once again, it's Captain Toad. <laughs> How did you get here? How did you get here, Captain Toad? <laughs> How do you find yourself in those situations? How you doing? Folks who live in this kingdom really seem to like the buildings. Well, you kind of have to to live in a big city. <clears throat> or you just put up with it kind of my understanding of how uh, New York runs. Either you love the city or you just put up with it. It's kind of like the uh, the classic uh, one-liner by, I believe it's Mitch Hedberg, where he's like, he's in a band once. 
And people either hated us or loved us or thought we were okay. <laughs> uh, where am I headed now? Oh, just noticed some coins. That's going to keep happening. There is a lot of them here, too. Being that it's a large kingdom with 100 instead of just 50. I actually don't think there's a whole lot else up here for right now. Man. I mean, it's possible that a lot of the, uh... A lot of the... Those regional coins that we're gonna find are probably in other areas, too. So you can actually capture this human. <laughs> and then control this little RC car. Very hard to control. Back up. There it is. An adventurous little toad. That he is. Doing pretty well, Colin. Having a fun time once again. I feel like. Every day I'm streaming is a good day. I get to hang out with you guys. Play some Super Mario Odyssey. It's a good time. So I've kind of stopped off here already. Um... I have most things. Uh, Luigi coins, rooftop. Garden checkpoint. Oh yeah, so there's one other Luigi coin. And that is at the intersection of Cruel Ave and Espresso Street. Somewhere in the middle here. There he is. So I think, <laughs> Colin, you're asking about <laughs> Mario capturing a human being. I think this game has quite a lot of questions that Nintendo never intended on answering. <laughs> They're just like, moving past that? <laughs> yeah, Lambda, the... Uh... The, the street signs are pretty small, but I'm I'm pretty sure that all of those roads have little names, and they're all um, obviously references to Donkey Kong Country or the Donkey Kong series. Of course, New Donk City being kind of the prime example of that. I already got that one. Let's go to the slots. Why not? Ten coins. Let's play. Let's see if I can line this up properly. Da -da. Got all but one. There it is. Extra coins. Again, wherever you see Captain Toad, that's once again one of those things that's like... Yeah, Nintendo just wanted you to go and find him. How he got there? Nobody knows. Not even him. 
What are we doing? So there's a there's a pile of things we could be doing at this point. Um, let's ask Taka to off the beaten wire. City gardening. Pushing through the crowd. Okay. So that's one of the gardenings. Extreme gardening. New York edition. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, yeah, that one's done too. So we can just finish off all these seed moons. Don't remember how long it takes for that to happen, but yeah. Uh, oh, made it. <laughs> no, that was, uh, Takatu. I don't think he's from anything, actually. He might have just not known of a reference or something, but I'm pretty sure he's just... Just some random parrot. Might be, you know. That could entirely be one of those crossovers again. That we just... One of the most ambitious crossovers we never saw coming. We gotta get this guy too. Alright. Grab a moon from there. Hidden in the scrap. We are throwing around the pig skin. I don't think that football serves literally any purpose in this game. I think it's just hanging around for fun. All right. Uh, so technically we have enough moons to progress and I mean, we, we won't actually be doing that just yet because they're yeah, there are, uh, take a look at the list. 66 moons. We'll be getting 52 of them before we head out. And yes, Pauline is the, uh, the damsel in distress from the original Donkey Kong, but now she's Mare. Oh, that's something I could do. It's gonna fall to the ground. Let's warp back here. Uh, oh, where are we? There it is. I was looking for the little moped. So this is uh, <laughs> one of those random moons where it's like, oh, okay, I guess this is a thing. There's a there's a guy way up on this building that is like waiting for someone to park up there for some reason. So let's let's do it for him. Put in the scooter. First customer. Yay. Don't know why. 
Don't don't know why you didn't get more customers up here. This is such a prime parking location for your scooter. <laughs> uh... Okay. Man, unless I'm actually going to continue with the story. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot that I can actually do. Oh, there is this... Uh, yeah, so that's uh, the hint art that you can get back in the Lake Kingdom. So when we're, when we're next back there, we can grab that. Tarv dog, let's keep it PG in the chat. By PG, I mean poke. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. This is one of my favorite moons of this. You're not from around here. You're the first person ever to just sit down next to me. It's a lonely city. Thanks for reaching out. It's a buddy moon. <laughs> it's fantastic. Bench friends. That is an issue, I think. If you're if you're new to a city, that my impression anyway of like a place like New York, where it's like everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. So unless you know someone, it can definitely be pretty lonely to start out. All right, so let's do a little bit of shopping, why not? Let's be Mario Maker. Why not? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> now I just look like a, a business guy showing up to the construction site. So I think there's a couple more things I can buy yet. don't know what this outfit is all for. I'm pretty sure all of these outfits are some reference to a previous game or something. But I don't recognize that one at all. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to collect a little bit more uh, in terms of the regional coins to start. Yeah, so like this street right here. Cranky Ave and Dixie Street. If you've played the, the Donkey Kong games, those names will be very familiar. Candy's Cafe, Banana Bagels. It's all over the place. There. <laughs> Let's do some jumping. This is one of the harder moons for sure. But also like one of the most monotonous. It's a lot harder than it looks too. It gets like really fast. I'm gonna see if I can get this. If I get 30, that's the first moon. And then you have to get all the way to 100 to get the second one. And it goes real fast. See if I can get it. Kind of got the rhythm. Totally honest, I did not get that 
the first time when I was first going through this game. Took me a lot of, a lot of fails to get to that point. <laughs> one man's trash. Oh, that's the only one you'll tell me about, eh? Okay. First go, yeah. Got real lucky, I guess. All right. So there's a bunch more that we got to do, and uh, I think I'm going to call it for tonight. It's been fun. I'm loving the game, and I hope uh, all y'all feeling the same way. We're going to get back to some more of this lovely Metro Kingdom in the next stream. So, uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. It's been a good time, and we'll be back again soon with more Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, if you like what you see, you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that uh, you'll get a little pop-up anytime I'm going to be going live, so you can make sure to not miss the next one. Like the video if you liked it, and uh, yeah, hope you had a great time. I definitely did. We'll uh, see you next time with more Super Mario Odyssey. Peace.